Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how you can laser cut and engrave with your Ninja Master machine using Inkscape and another extension offered by uh, JTEC Photonics. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, this is going to be a quick video tutorial, which has been requested from uh, one of you in the comments below. So, uh, JTEC Photonics is basically another uh, plugin that you can uh, add to your uh, uh, Inkscape library, and uh, it will basically convert the paths into uh, G code format. Okay, uh, and specifically, it's going to be a .g code uh, file format. All right, so this is the website where you can download the uh, plugin. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, here you will find several options, uh, depending on the version of Inkscape you have. So the 91, 92, and the 1.0. Uh, bear in mind that uh, the if you use Inkscape version 1.0, uh, the version of the extension is in beta. And that means that you have some compatibility issues and sometimes it's not producing exactly uh, what you'd expect. Uh, but if you're using uh, the version 92, uh, then you are good to go with it. It works flawlessly and I didn't find any problem. Anyway, uh, you just click on, on the link, you will download. And once you download it, all right, you will get uh, a zip file. You will need to instruct it. Inside of it, you will find two files. You will just uh, copy, so Control C or Command C, and you will need to paste it to um, this PC, local disk, program files, Inkscape, share Inkscape extension. I'll put the buff in the description below. So as you can see, they are highlighted. I have already pasted them in. Uh, so once you've done that, you can launch Inkscape and it will be uh, basically ready to work and you will find under extension generate laser G-code GTEC Photonics Laser 2. Now, if you happen to be using uh, Inkscape version 92, therefore you downloaded uh, the previous version of the same extension, uh, that's going to be under uh, laser and in the sub menu you will find something like JTP laser tool, something like that. Okay, so uh, once again, now I'm going to show you, uh, let's do something very quick. All right, so as usual, as I've showed you in my previous videos, I'll put the link in the description below. You will need to select everything through the select tool and convert it into uh, path so go over path and then object to path Okay, so once you've done that I would likely recommend you to resize the document size I mean the, the size of the page uh, So that your reference point is closely located to your object. So go over to file um, document properties and then under document properties under custom size there is this small arrow says resize page and then there is a button that says resize page to drawing alternatively you could use Control shift r to do everything automatically so once you're happy with that select the geometry go over to extension generate laser g code and then jtag photonics and this pop-up will appear um, now here you will only need to care about the travel speed, the laser speed, the laser power, and the number of passes. Everything else is not of your concerns. Um, so I would generally uh, recommend you leaving everything in defaults. But if you find uh, some trouble, that's most likely going to be uh, about the speed. So you can uh, put down the speed, laser speed. Laser speed, it means the speed at which the axis is traveling, uh, the axes are traveling uh, while laser cutting or engraving. Uh, so a good value for it would be between 300 and 500. 
As for the power, um, I found that with the Nature Master machine, uh, the value to set is between 0 and 255. So you will need to factorize them that to understand what the percentage is. So if you want the 50% or if you want the 30% and so on, if you're used to work with the uh, other, um, with the with the Nege native uh, desktop application. Okay, over here you will need to paste in uh, the directory where you would like the file to be uh, saved and then to give a uh, file name. And then uh, we can click on preview Okay, that's gonna be some warning and then you can click on apply. Now, as I said, uh, there are some bugs, uh, some compatibility issues with, um, with um, extension in the version uh, 1.0 and higher of Inkscape. And as you can see, uh, everything was basically, everything is as it is on its own, but it's been shifted downwards for some reason uh, but you will be able to arrange this uh, later on okay once you're done you can double check if your file has been correctly saved so we have it over here now um, as you can see the format of this file is dot uh, g code uh, that means that the file is not going to be recognized by the native desktop application of uh, Nege um, and, but you can use uh, laser grbl on my previous video i've showed you guys how to work with laser grbl so i will put the link in the description below uh, but anyway so i will use my quick command to launch laser grbl okay so this is the interface now uh, go over to file open file hexagon and spiral is our file and open it up so as you can see um, the zero reference point has been moved uh, from the actual uh, point where we wanted it to be but this is not a problem because we can basically maneuver manual, uh, manually we can adjust the position of the laser to set our zero point as I showed you in my previous video and so it, we will engrave basically uh, where we want that's not uh, not an issue um, other than that, there is no other parameter to be settled as everything was settled in the pop-up within Inkscape. So all the speed and the power and the number of passes if you have to cut, uh, they will be settled all from there. As for projects that require uh, both a cutting and engraving, I made um, a video a while back showing you how to do that using the desktop application but that's basically going to apply uh, equally here so you will basically need to um, do two um, so you will need you will so you will basically need to process the project twice once is about the part that has to be cut and once is about the part that has to be engraved without moving um the the material within one step and the other okay i hope you found the video helpful and if you like the video click the thumb up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one ciao for now